Well, hey guys, and welcome to another Ask Zach. Today, we're going to take a look at some pickups, specifically the Brad Paisley La Brea Telecaster pickup set from Seymour Duncan. So, I, uh, you know, of course, I love Telecasters, and I love, you know, swapping pickups and and that, and uh, when these pickups, you know, were announced, I immediately you know, reached out to Seymour Duncan to see if I could check them out. And just to cut to the chase, what are these pickups? Well, they're like a hopped up set of late 60s Telecaster pickups. They solve all the deficiencies of those original pickups, and they are a fantastic, easy to find anywhere in the world pickup set at a under $200 price point, specifically $169 in the US. Uh, so, late 60s pickups uh what you know what do i mean by that well just happen to have one here with me this is my 1960 late 1967 telly which is basically the same thing as a 68 uh these pickups um they had stopped wax potting by this time and these pickups originally had uh lacquer they were lacquer potted they were just dipped in lacquer and pulled out the problem is is with those pickups uh with the lacquer actually the lacquer would flake off and then when you're playing your sweat would get down into the pickup the sweat would cause rust and the pickup would die so usually the bridge pickup would die from rust and then the neck pickup would go very microphonic so on this guitar this uh the bridge pickup had to be revived and then the neck pickup had to be uh, potted, and uh, but both have been wax potted now. So the other thing with these pickups is the uh, uh, the bridge pickup has quite a stagger to it, and it gives it a, a much it gives it kind of a bright, lively sound. But a lot of people, you know, kind of like that, but yet they kind of like the flat pole sound uh, of like the broadcaster and early Telecasters. Well. On this, they have uh, addressed that. So one, of course, the pickups are wax potted. Two, this, instead of having flat poles like a broadcaster, you know, where the magnets are flush with the top of the pickup, or being staggered like that 60s you know, pickup, it has a hybrid stagger. So all of them are flat except for the D and G, and they're just raised a little bit. And then, uh, the uh, the magnet on this bridge pickup is out Nico 4, and that gives it a little bit more mid-range push, which is, again, something that was kind of deficient on those late 60s pickups. They usually, unless you were lucky, a lot of those pickups uh, didn't have a lot of mids to them. So, uh, another kind of nice touch is it has some aged uh, cloth, you know, wrap, white cloth wrap around the pickup, like... Uh, 60s pickup would have and it has the, the gray flat work on it like a late 60s pickup neck pickup uh, has El Nico 2 magnets and uh, that kind of gives it a little bit more of a creamy compressed smooth sound and so usually El Nico 2 magnets are used uh, in pickups where you're kind of wanting to tame high end so that gives it a really you know very smooth sound so with all of that, uh, what does it sound like? So today I'm using my, uh, because it's a Brad Paisley set, I'm using my Paisley Telly that uh, Bill Crook made, and it has an alder body and a maple cap neck, which means the neck is two pieces of maple, uh, you know, separate fingerboard. Then I have a steel saddles here and a old timey style, uh, you know, bent steel bridge, regular 250k pots. So here is the uh, the neck pickup. But first I have to say that I'm not using any effects at all. Uh, I'm using a tuner, but uh, otherwise I'm not using any effects and you're just gonna be hearing the guitar and you're gonna be hearing the amp. And so this is a uh, you know, mid 60s deluxe reverb with a Celestian Vintage 30 speaker. Uh, the only effect you'll be hearing is a little bit of spring reverb, you know, off the amp. So, 
that's it. I wanted you to be able to hear kind of the raw sound of the guitar. I'm not going to do any overdrive or distortion or anything like that. So this is just the raw, clean sound of the pickup. So you can kind of hear what they can do with that. And uh, there are other demos where you hear, hear it with overdrive and such. So here we go. This is a neck pickup. And I'm going to purposely play a similar thing as I go through the pickups. Uh, so you can just kind of hear what playing the same thing sounds like on each uh, pickup setting. So here we're starting with the neck. There you got all three, you know, pickup sounds. You, well, I get, you got the, the two pickup sounds on their own and then, the, and then together. They're very balanced. Uh, they're very warm. Uh, you know, these have a kind of vintage era output of, a, of the mid 7K. Uh, a lot of the late 60s ones actually were even a little bit lower than that. But this is a, a really good output so that you can still have enough to kind of hit your effects and things like that with it. Uh, yeah, neck is just really, really warm and smooth. It's not trying to be a Strat or a P90 or a Humbuck or anything. It's just being a great vintage styled, you know, Telecaster neck pickup. Uh, you know. <laughs> both pickup sounds I think uh, yeah it's it's stellar on this and it's when you have kind of a fatter sounding neck and uh, you know it, it kind of lends to a nice dual pickup sound so you, especially like for for finger picking or things like that you know. <laughs> clear uh, bridge pickup uh, to me you know the bridge pickup is kind of like the business end of uh, you know the guitar to me on any guitar the bridge pickup is the business end that's where I'm going to spend most of my time even though I do value the neck pickup sound and the the, the, the dual pickup sound <laughs> Bank. Uh, it's got, you know, clarity but warmth. It's not strident on the high end. Just a, a great Telecaster bridge pickup. So, uh, just to give a little bit of background, uh, you know, I, you know, of course, knew about Seymour Duncan pickups, you know, from guitar magazines in the '70s and '80s, and uh, and didn't start using Seymour Duncan pickups until the early '90s, and it was because of Brad Paisley. He and I were uh, college students at Belmont University, and I remember uh, buying a Telecaster and not being happy with the bridge pickup, saying, you know, it was, it was too bright. It was very Buck Owen sounding. And uh, Brad immediately said, well, you need to get a Seymour Duncan pickup. And I said, well, there's a lot of them on which one? He said, you need to get the Alnico 2 Pro bridge pickup because it will attain that high end and give you a, a smooth sound. He said, that's the pickup I use. So, 
that was, you know, kind of the beginning of that. And then you kind of had this whole era of uh, all these boutique winders that came out. And, uh, and they all do great work. But it's nice to have this, uh, to kind of come full circle and have a great set of Seymour Duncan pickups that I can heartily recommend. Part of the reason I wanted to do this review was because I was getting a lot of questions about Telecaster pickups and I realized that the pickups that were in my guitars, um, they were either vintage or they were by a winder that has a two year waiting list or the company had gone out of business or in one case, the winder had actually passed away. So I wanted to find a nice vintage styled Telecaster pickup set that someone could find anywhere in the world. And Seymour Duncan checks all the boxes on that. It's a great sounding set. It's easy to find and I can, you know, heartily recommend it. And the to boot, you know, it has, uh, you know, my friend and former employer's uh, name on there. So there you have it. The uh, Brad Paisley La Brea Telecaster pickup set. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the little demo and I hope you'll check out the pickups and uh, please comment, you know, below uh, what you thought of the my uh, my take on it, and and especially if you've picked up a set, uh, you know, do that. And also, I'll put a a, a link to uh, to purchase the the pickups. So, I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.